Hello friends and welcome to Obsidian Soft. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a fun shadow matching game in Scratch. I'm going to make it an ETH themed shadow matching game and I will be using assets like a lantern and a star and a moon but you can turn it into an animal matching game or a shape matching game so the game has a lot of potential. Let's begin. I created a new project in Scratch and I'm going to first get rid of Scratchy the cat and I'm going to upload a backdrop. So this looks nice according to our theme. I'm going to upload a sprite. So go to choose a sprite but then upload a sprite and I'm going to upload this lantern image that I got from the internet. I will give the link in the video description. I'm going to reduce its size to 40 and I will give it a nice position here. And I'm going to go to events and when flag is clicked, I want to save this position. So go to motion and get the go to block. So if I accidentally drag it and I, and I click on the green flag, this position is restored. I'm going to give it a sound too. So just go to sounds, click on choose a sound, search for magic and use the magic spell. Okay. Now I'm also going to upload a lantern shadow. Okay. So upload sprite. This is the shadow and just like lantern, I'm going to reduce its size to 40 and I'm going to give it a nice position here. Now I'm going to make a variable. I'm going to call it set lantern okay and set lantern I'm going to turn this off so that it doesn't show here so set lantern will always be zero and it will become one when my actual lantern will touch the shadow so that I will know that one puzzle has been solved so here I'm going to set it to zero okay now let's write the remaining code for it. But first let's store the position of our shadow too. So when flag is clicked, I want that it has this position. Okay. So coming back to our lantern. Now remember this is the lantern code. As you can see, this is the colorful lantern here. I am going to first of all go to sensing and set my the sprite as draggable so set drag mode draggable and then inside a forever loop which i get from control i am going to check using the control if block if from sensing i get this touching block and here i choose lantern shadow okay so if this lantern touches the lantern shadow and I'm checking it inside a forever loop, what am I going to do? I am going to first of all set my set lantern to 1. Okay? That means the lantern has touched the shadow and I'm going to also set my draggable from sensing to not draggable. I'm going to wait for about 0 0.6 seconds and then after this wait, I'm also going to wait for my mouse to come up because sometimes it happens that you keep it here and this is triggered that it is not touching the lantern shadow. But what I want is that it should fit 100% over this lantern shadow as soon as it touches the lantern shadow, the actual lantern. 
but what happens is that if I just write down this code here that when it touches it just goes to the lantern shadow 100% but what will happen is that if the mouse if the person has not let go of the mouse this will not be correct and the lantern will not 100% cover the shadow and that is what we don't want so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this wait until block from control and inside here I'm going to get the not block and from sensing I'm going to get the mouse down so it will wait until the mouse is up and then it will go to the lantern shadow. We are going to play our magic spell sound until it's done and then we are going to stop this script. So choose this and then okay. So this is the code that first of all we have set the lantern variable to zero. That means in the beginning of the game it is not touching the shadow. Then I set this drag mode to draggable. Then I check inside a forever loop if my lantern is touching its shadow. And if it is, then I'm going to set the variable to one. I am going to set my drag mode to not draggable. I'm going to just wait for a little bit of time. And then again, I'm remember, I'm going to make sure that my mouse has come up and I will wait for that time. And then I will go to the lantern shadow, okay? 100% so let me show you how it works so here I bring it here and then see it perfectly fits okay so this would not have happened if I had not waited for this thing okay sometimes then it stops halfway in between so try that remove this wait until block and see how the code looks then and you will see that at some times if you don't let go of the mouse and then this thing is operated and then the lantern will not 100% fit on its shadow, okay? So similarly, I am going to write some code for a star. So I'm going to actually choose the star from scratch resources. So go to choose a sprite, look for star, get it. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make its size a bit bigger. So 130 or maybe 150 and I'm going to go to its costumes and I'm going to choose it, select it and give it the black fill color and then this inside star again, I'm going to give it a black fill color. Okay, so this is the shadow. So let me rename it to star shadow. Okay, and again, let me choose a sprite, a star, same star. Again, remember that the size of this star is 150. So this should also be 150. So 150. And let me go to the costumes. And I want to make this inner star the same color as this. So just select it, then go to fill and choose the color picker tool and then click here and it will choose the exact same color yellow. Okay. So our star is yellow and let me remove the outline from it. Okay. So let me give this star a nice position and let me put the shadow over here. Okay, and this is the position of the star. So let me store that. Okay, so when flag is clicked, go to this position and similarly for the star shadow, when flag is clicked, Store the position 
this position of the star okay and the remaining code is exactly the same so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick this up and take it to the yellow star not the star shadow the original star and make sure that it wiggles put it there so you can see that the star has the same code so I just need this position from here so I can put this code below it now because this was the position of the lantern okay so just remove this part now we have to make some changes here because this is set lantern so this should be set star so let's go to the variables and create a new variable call it set star and set star is zero in the beginning and it becomes one and if touching the star shadow so have a look at where the change is required now it does not have the magic spell so let me see yeah it doesn't have the magic spell so i have to add the magic spell for the star too okay so now this code looks fine this is for the star and have a look at it that you have made the correct changes in it because we duplicated it from the lantern and similarly we can do it for some other asset like a moon so i'm going going to quickly do it for a moon okay so the moon and the moon shadow code is done i am going to paint a message sprite which says like you are done congratulations in my case i'm going, going to write eid mubarak and let me select it and give it the curly font make it bigger okay and let me give it a different color and let me make sure that it is in the center so make x0 and y0 okay and what's the code for it when flag is clicked i hide it so from looks the hide block let me get the show block too because I will be later needing it. And I am going to forever, using the control block, check if all my variables, that is the moon, the lantern, and the star are one. So get the if block. And from operators, get the and block. And actually we need another and which I'm going to plug in here so that I have three conditions that will be checked at the same time so and means all three conditions have to be true so what are the conditions that let me get the equal to block plug it in here make it one and I'm going to go to variables and get the set star block so the set star variable is one duplicate so all my three variables should be one and if they are one i am going to wait for one second so from control wait for one second and I am going to show my Eid Mubarak sprite or any other congratulation message sprite and I am going to play my music so where is the music let me add the music so go to sounds and choose a sound choose magic the dance magic 
and go to code and I'm going to play my dance magic sound until done and then I am going to stop all the scripts in my sprite. So stop all, okay? Because we don't want anything to be running now anymore, the forever loops, because the game is over, okay? So let's try our game. So that was fun, wasn't it? I hope you have fun making this shadow matching game and you can use it to make any other themed shadow matching game and have fun impressing your friends and family with a game that you made on your own. So if you like my video, do share it with your friends and family and please subscribe to my channel if you like my work. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Goodbye and Eid Mubarak to all the people who are celebrating Eid this year.